Happy October everyone and welcome back to my channel, it's Lola here. Today I am doing a Halloween makeup tutorial. I'm so excited, this is my first ever Halloween makeup tutorial. On this channel I've got my incense burning, I've got my little pumpkin up there keeping me company and I've got an amazing lip plan so if you are interested in the look then just keep watching. To begin with, I'm going to be using a primer. As always, I'll be using the Too Faced Hangover Primer just to moisturise my face a little bit and get it ready for all the products that I'm going to be piling on. Now, you may have noticed a little bit of redness on my face at the moment. Um, so, obviously, I want to combat that. I'm going to be using the NYX HD Studio Photogenic Concealer in green, which will hopefully uh, eliminate all the redness. I'm going to be using the Rimmel Studio Lasting Finish Foundation in White Porcelain. This is a lot lighter than my um, normal foundation would be and that is on purpose because I want to give myself that um, drawn out, pale, ghost-like, clown-like look and I also want to make sure that when I'm putting the other colours on my face they're really popping. So I'm just dabbing that in now with a beauty blender and I also want white to be high coverage um, so you'll see me going in a few more times to put a little bit of extra on. Next I'm going to set all of that in place with my RCMA No Colour Powder. Um, this is just a, as it says, no colour powder, but it is also quite white. Um, I chose this on purpose because I don't want to bring any of the colour back into the face. I do want it to be, as I said, quite drawn out and quite um, a pale face. So I'm just dabbing that all on uh, the usual places that I would usually put my powder to set everything in place. Next I'm going to go ahead and do my brows and my combo for this is the Morphe Micro Brow Pencil in Mocha and the Benefit Fumi Brow in 3.5. I'm not doing anything special for my brows this time, I'm literally just filling them in as I usually would and then setting them in place with the Gimme Brow which can I please just give a mini shout out to. I absolutely love it, if you're into the laminated brow look then this product is definitely for you. Um, it's just amazing, absolutely love it. Then I'm going to go ahead and set my eyes, sorry not set my eyes, I'm going to prime my eyes with the Theory Space in Ruma 2. This is my favourite eye primer ever. And then I'm going to be using the Morphe Black Ink Liner. Now what I'm going to be doing with this is I'm just mapping out the shape of the eye that I want to create. So the um, sort of the clown look that we're going for. I'm just going to be mapping out that shape that I'm then going to fill in. because we're going to go in after and set that over the black eyeshadow. It's important you do this because the face paint that you're using won't give you the strong matte black look that you're looking for. As with any makeup, any cream product, you need to always set it. It's no different when you're doing face paint. Now 
once I filled in the black, I'm going in with the colour, which is super exciting. So the first colour I'm going in with is the colour that I'm using from Snuggaroo, which is a face paint brand, and it is the Royal Blue uh, face paint that I'm using. I don't have too many face paints, so don't worry, I'm not just all using all face paints in this tutorial. Um, but yeah, I am just using the face paint to map out the blue because I happen to have some. So I'm just going to sort of mimic where I've gone in with the black and I'm using a dabbing motion with my finger and also using the brush to sort of get the intended shape that I want. Again, you don't need to be too neat, in fact I think it looks better than messier. Um, so you just want to go above and below and it doesn't really matter when you put the colour just as long as it's sort of shadowing the black. I'm then going to use lots of different colours. I'm using a green here now. This is just a green eyeshadow that I'm using. I didn't have um, a face paint for green, so I just had to kind of improvise with what I had. I don't think it came out like the best, but you do just you've got to kind of improvise sometimes, right? So this is what I this is what I had. So this is what I used. Um, but I'm using the same sort of dabbing motion to get that. Um, swirl, swirly like shape onto my face and um, as you can see I'm also putting it onto the lid to sort of drop shadow let's call it the black the same happened with the yellow um, I used the yellow eyeshadow to get the yellow colour that I wanted I then did, I think I did go in actually with a Snuggaroo um, face paint but it was more of a gold than a yellow so I actually think that it would just be better to just use a yellow eyeshadow if you have one. For the purple I did something a little bit different. I actually used a liquid um, lipstick which I actually thought worked really well. The one I'm using is the Dose of Colours um, liquid lipstick in Toxic. So for me that actually worked really well because it's very pigmented and it's stuck very well to my face. So for the pink, I did the same thing um, with the liquid lipstick. At first I did use a Snuggaroo face paint. Um, it was actually the Smithies one, not Snuggaroo. But um, the colour wasn't coming out as strong as I would have liked it. I wanted it to be a little bit more striking and prominent. So I then went in with a NARS liquid lipstick um, that was a lot more sort of a hot pink colour. Um, the NARS liquid lipstick that I used was called Immoral. And again, it just worked really well to give me that prominent, bold look that I wanted. I then did this again for my orangey red Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Colour in Flirt. Now for highlighter I used the Jeffree Star, Star Skin Frost in Mint Condition. Um, it's this gorgeous green colour that I just thought would just work pretty well to bounce off my face. Moving on to lips, I'm just outlining the Clown Smile Lip Look with a black eyeliner. Obviously, it's not a lip liner, but in my opinion, it works just as well. Um, you want to make sure that the corners of the face are quite drawn out and exaggerated. Take your time with this, um, because the neater you get it, the better it will look. I then went ahead and filled in my lips and the inside of the corners. Yes. Maybelline Colour Sensational Lipstick in Pitch Black. Um, this was just quicker than sort of colouring it into the pencil, but you can do it either really. To neaten up the corners, I did use a brush um, to work in the corners to make sure that it didn't that I didn't go outside the lines. And for lashes, I basically wanted to go hard or go home, so I used the Mimim Mim Mitchell X Tarty Lashes in Luxury Mink. A 
and this is the completed look i'm really happy with how it's turned out i think i look a little bit scary a little bit pennywise i hope you enjoyed it and i hope um that it's helped you with some inspiration for your halloween makeup have a lovely halloween have a lovely autumn and i will see you in my next video